Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Thief Gold. In the last episode, we started... I think it's just called Thieves Guild, if I recall correctly. Uh, this What mission is this called? Yeah, it is called Thieves Guild. Okay, yes. We started playing Thieves Guild. Garrett had wanted to steal a nobleman's vase, Lord Randall's Sapphire Vase. But when he arrived on the scene to steal it, he found members of the Downwind Thieves Guild there, who had apparently beaten him to it already. Garrett really wanted that vase. It would pay for whatever it is Garrett's interested in paying for. And he is still going to get it, stealing it from the Downwind Thieves Guild. To that end, we snuck into the restaurant operated by this guild as a cover, got down through the gambling den and found a secret passage therein, which led to the basement sections and the sewer sections now that we are traveling through. We navigated to Reuben's mansion, which we discovered we would need to go to first, as he possesses a key to a lockup in Donald's mansion, where the vase is located. We were able to get through most of Ruben's area without too much trouble, actually. And I don't think we've knocked out anyone yet either, which is amazing. This is going very well for us so far. And with that said, let's continue. We have been seen a few times by servants and by one guard. But that seems to be it so far. Objective-wise, we also located Rondel's bracelet, which was in the fire pit within Thomas's room. The well, one, I suppose, the most loyal servant of Rubens. We had explored a little of this area when we were last here. Which I believe is the actual Thieves Guild, or some parts of it. The... Sorry, everyone. The guild seems to span quite some distance within these sewer systems and several basements herein as well that are linked to the sewer systems too. <clears throat> I can't tell which members, which thieves are members of which lord, if that matters at all. The leaders are fighting, but perhaps the guild itself is not. Perhaps that's another entrance into the Thieves' Guild from up above. I don't know how we are on Earth we're crossing this without getting detected. But there might be another way. put out that light, but I don't feel like we can sneak past the girl without getting detected. And there was another thief we saw on patrol there, too. Let's instead make our way back through that one storage room. Where we had originally heard members of the Downwinders talking about our job when we stole Lord Bafford's prized scepter.
that door. I want to try this one, but I want to wait for him to be walking down that passage before I do so. We are now on the other side of that hallway. It is very brightly lit here. I don't know if I really however, want to spend water arrows. I would like to at least see what's inside these rooms. It might not be worth making the attempt because we're likely to be caught. But if I want to peek in, we're going to need to turn to at least put out this torch. That thief just can't get any sleep. Is walking back and forth, <coughs> trying to wear himself out. <coughs> We're still brightly seen. There was a chest in that room. But there's no way we're searching it unless we knock out that guard. And there's another guard there on patrol. No, it's not worth it. We're not going to do it. towards the Overlord's Fancy, where we had first seen the two guards down here talking about the lockup and who has the vase and who has the key for it. While we're waiting for him to walk into that room, Let's take a look at our supplies. One speed potion, <clears throat> our lock picks, the safe key that we need, four healing potions, a flash bomb, 904 total worth of wealth. This sounds like an archer or a servant. It's likely an archer, because I think we saw him walking here earlier.
Hey. Well, it was nothing, I guess. Huh? Uh-oh. A girl's voice briefly. That's probably a servant down here. Must be power sources for various blocks up above in the city or people's homes. Opened up that door. And there's another locked port cutlass here. Fire arrow and some coins. Wonder what room this served. down this passage, so it should be safe for us to stay <laughs> here and watch them. And when are they going to bring me my dinner? That's what I want. When are they going to bring me my dinner? The girl just seems to be randomly <clears throat> walking down here for no reason. Did I just see what I think I saw? Huh. Too many damn rats around here. Nothing on his belt, but there is a purse next to him. going up there without knowing who else might be on patrol. I hear someone sleeping, so there's probably sleeping quarters up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
good thing Garrett brought some arrows with him. Spiders in the sewer system. And some loot. A gem. Must have been dropped from a guard or someone living in the room above. And more supplies. More water arrows. And some moss arrows. Getting in this way? Oh, we are. These pressure doors, they're a bloody nuisance. You gotta go out of your way just to find a top and lever. Slows down the intruders, though. Who'd break in here? we get is when somebody tries to skim off the top. Well, this vase situation might give you all the action you need. Hey, that's right. Be nice to bust some heads for a change. <laughs> I don't really want to climb the ladder to an area that could be possibly exposed. Let's go back a different way. though well, it looks like it's gonna be it's gonna end up being that ladder yeah this this vault door is shut and we're unable to open it There's likely to stop. Uh, it's a, that light is likely to uh, not help us stay in the shadows here. It sounded like those two members of the guild weren't very happy with the ongoing discussions between Reuben and Donald. It 
sounded like one of them might have been a servant. Judging, I'm judging that based solely on the voice actor I heard. got a purse on his belt. Davy, till Donald and Reuben quit their bitchin', best we just stick to our own turf. No too much Donald's man to risk it north side. servant coming back. So let's wait for him to pass by. We can nab his purse from the belt. Silver near that fireplace. We'll try to get that. When that guard begins walking down that passage. some treasures in that room, but it would be pretty tricky to grab them. It might be risky even to look, but I think we're going to try to do so. Do a flash bomb. Things go south for us. is worth it either.
for it right now. <clears throat> it's not worth it. say it's not worth it what I'm saying or what I mean is that I do not think I can do that without all chaos breaking loose and we will be detected I don't have any place to hide in that room unless we put out the fireplace I don't know where the guard patrols in that room I'd be worried he would run straight into me Wait here a tad for the servant to walk through here. We'll see where he goes. That will help judge where I want to go. I'm assuming he doesn't walk over into this little area. It's not. It sounds like the archer is also approaching. <sighs> so he goes straight that way. And the archer looks like he follows suit. Sorry, nothing here now. Who was that there? I, saw I, saw right there, I don't have Karen. any money. Over here, he has a sword. <laughs> Someone get him! down there earlier. <clears throat> we heard them talking about some sort of special lever. <clears throat> there, but now I don't think we will. So, in addition to Randall's letter, this is another area which you uh, could sh struggle to locate. Because to get to the lever, you need, well, I, th I think, you need to swim through this to do so.
I don't know which switch it is, so we may as well throw both of them. Worried up too. I don't think we can hack this down. Let's try really quick. No, we can't. It goes right through the wooden uh, beams. so tame. He can scarf out the way he came quick enough, but he don't want to go till he's got something. So he sweeps everything on the dresser, jewelry, candlesticks, whatnot, into his sack, gets halfway down the stairs, when the sack starts leaping about. What? He's cut the lady's cat, too. Cat claws a hole in the sack. Everything falls out except the cat. And that's halfway up his arm with claws every which way. <laughs> He had to jump in the river to get the damn thing off. Left a trail of blood and water over half the city just going home. <coughs> I was a little nervous they heard me <sighs> leap up here. Thankfully they did not do so. <clears throat> I can make out this shoulder and left arm of a guard standing there, so we're not going to go that way. That's the main door to Donald's basement entry, which is where we're located currently. I believe it's also heavily guarded. I think there's two guards standing outside of it and, and one on patrol, walking in a circular pattern outside of it. to find <laughs> but the gold nugget is good the light in this room makes putting out the torch pointless we'll want to wait here until we hear the guard pass by let's take stock of our arrows while we're waiting 29 broadheads, 10 water, 4 fire, 13 moss, 3 rope, and I think we may have picked up one noisemaker.
Another speed potion. But nothing in the other chests. I thought I saw something. here. Dry times for the Downwinder Steve's Guild, all things considered. Knockout. I don't know how on earth you sneak past her without you without her seeing you. I have no clue how you do it. The last time I did this. Uh, I just had to run past her because I already knocked out two people. Let's wait for that one guard to re-enter this again. So we can more thoroughly search this very empty kitchen. Last time, tell the maid to stay out of the banner room and don't touch anything in it. It is the room where I can have peace of mind. My collection is too precious to risk any clumsiness from cleaning. Sounds like there's something up there we want. think I want. Let's wait in the closet until we hear the guard step on tile, and then we can probably safely move out. We still need, by the way, another 231 gold to complete our gold objective. Hopefully there's quite a bit of cash here. Otherwise, we'll have to go back into the sewer system to find it.
think we were hearing sounds from upstairs back in that room. there has a purse on his belt we're gonna want. I hear the other guard approaching. Remember that we deadened it, the, the sound of tile in that room by putting moss arrows onto the floor. This little room here counts as being outside. All we'll need to do is get the vase and then return there, assuming we have the amount of loot that we need, and we'll be able to end the mission. to my room, there was nothing in there anymore, people taking my things. Looks like there's at least two guards patrolling up here. I think we should try to knock one of these guards out. It'll be our second and final, well, I said three for this mission, but our, hopefully our last knockout here. a bit. I think I hear the other guard approaching. Uh, people are trying to hey! We will not speak of this again.
the tapestry room. One of these must be guarding the lockup. Another expense report or ledger, and yet more of them. Another key to lead outside. there we haven't searched. We would be remiss if we didn't at least check it. No, oh, just a bathroom. I went to my room. Should hear him step on the tile again. Oh, no, we won't. All right, everyone, not bad. I think it's mission completed for us. There's still more loot down in the Thieves' Guild area that I'm aware of. A cache of coins in a hidden niche, and I think a golden candlestick at least some other place. But I wasn't feeling comfortable going back down into the sewers. We'd have to get back up into this area again. And it's not too difficult to time the servant and guard patrolling in the basement of Donald's. But no, I'm not going to risk it, especially because at least one person down there, a, a servant and a member of the Downwinders is aware of me, it will be rather difficult to avoid them in the future. They'll be much more um, keen if they detect anything. So how do we do? Ah, uh, not bad. We got, what is that, two-thirds of the treasure? We left about 600-something gold still in the mission. Uh, 2,000 is an acceptable amount to end a mission at. That will pay for most of what we need, hopefully, for the next one. And not bad. We knocked out, again, only two people. Not the three I said I was I was going to give myself for that mission. We did extremely well in Rubens in the previous episode. Very, very well. Not having to knock out anyone. And just racing away from Rubens without even taking a shot from the archer guarding that entryway was very nice. I don't understand how the light works in the Downwind Thieves Guild, because I could swear we should be noticed by the thieves a little more often than we are. So, uh, but I'm, I'm glad we weren't detected. Well, we must be protected many times, but I'm glad we weren't killed, and that we didn't have to knock out more than two people, and I didn't have to kill anyone either. So that's a first for the Downwind Thieves Guild. 
Alright guys, so thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care everyone.